When working on a 3D model, it will always be rendered in one fashion or another. Notice that as I'm dynamically moving around in my view, the part appears to be rendered differently when stopped versus when I'm navigating. I'll click the wireframe tool. There's a hidden line mode. This will actually calculate a hidden line view. The next render mode displays the hidden lines but dimmed. We'll shade the view and there's an option to apply perspective or not as well. There's even an option that you can have a third render mode to find only when manually set. From the view menu you'll find shade now. Now to control these three different options from the view menu choose shade options. The static shade mode is what's visible when not navigating. We'll set this for grow. The dynamic shade is during navigation which is set for wireframe at this point. Shade now is forced from the menu. Now back to our options. Render options provide flat, grow, and Fong in order of render quality. You also can set wireframe and hidden line as well. The settings are typically made based on performance, making it easy and fast to navigate while seeing a more refined level of rendering as needed. As you navigate, you'll also see that lighting is affecting the rendered image. The lighting can be adjusted. From the view menu, choose ambient light settings. We'll move the intensity down of the ambient light and that will make the light affecting the part more intense. To demonstrate, we'll add a light and you can see how it illuminates the part. The lighting can be used to create a more dynamic view of your model. And to increase performance, the Shade Options dialog box provides rendering options that control what is rendered and how it's rendered as you navigate through the drawing. So you can change the rendering options for presentations of your designs. On top of that, you have the ability to apply materials or textures to your design as well. From the window library, choose the render library. Here you'll find a wide selection of libraries of different types of material textures to apply. To use, simply select one of the libraries from the pop-up. Previews of those materials will appear above. Options to apply. On the top, you can apply based on an individual face, pieces of geometry, or to everything that an individual material matches. Here we've applied to a face. Now we'll choose Matched Apply and we'll apply this burl to everything that's the same color as where I apply. So you can create dramatic effects simply by the individual materials that you apply. There's custom colors available. There's a library of metals even available so we can go in and change the hardware on these secretary desks. Find the material and apply it and it will modify all of that hardware. 